specialist in the studio this morning. Joining us is the lovely Teresa Koch. And thank you all for your SMSs. Of course, if you have more questions for her, you can still send them in. It's R-E-D space your questions. Send that to 32733. That's right. Now, of course, uh, we've got a couple that have come through right now. Uh, one of the ones that I, I particularly like, and maybe you can just answer this one sort of briefly for us. This is coming in from Tracy, and she wants to know that uh, if, um, let's say, the government uh, were to change, and um, you were to be part of the, the new ruling government, um, which cabinet minister post would you most like to hold? The home Affairs. Home Affairs? <laughs> home affairs. Why Home Affairs? Um, so that I can release all the ISA detainees. Ooh. And um, you know, Home Affairs, I, uh, the police force will be under me and I wish to set up IPCMC as promised by the uh, BN government. Okay. Right, okay, that's a good one, thank you. Okay, and another one here from Vincent who is actually very proud of your commitment and dedication towards uh, your causes. Now, out of curiosity, he wants to know who do you admire based on their capabilities in both the government and the opposition? Oh, well, for the uh, um, uh, government, I think uh, I should say I admire Sharizat and Rafida Aziz. Um, for Sharizat, I should say that, well, I look at sometimes, you know, the, the way she uh, carries herself in the Devon Rakyat, she can nicely whack the opposition <laughs> ma male MPs nicely in a very... Uh, uh, in a very good lang dignified, manner language, yeah, dignified, dignified manner. And, and also in a very humorous manner. And she always, you know, when when there is such, you know, situation happens, she always wins the kind of applause from uh, the fellow male MPs, you know, in the end. Mm -hmm. And for us, we sometimes we, we, we sit there, we just feel like laughing, you know, all the yeah. way. And I think that's how she can survive in a male-dominated and quite, um, uh, what do you call that, uh, I should say sometimes in the kind of circle, especially in Upno, it's not easy, you know, for uh, for a woman to handle all different men with that kind of uh, religious uh, mentality. Uh, I, I, should, I should say that she handled quite well. And for Rafida Aziz, she hardly comes to Parliament, but I think that from the way she 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 speaks, she uh, being a meaty minister, um, I think she also has shown, you know, her capability. Okay. She's quite outspoken. And for opposition, I should say one Aziza. I think it's really not easy for her, you know, she does, She has never aimed to be a politician and she was forced into politics and, and now, uh, you know, she has done all this uh, uh, sacrifice for the sake of the husband, now she has to sacrifice her seat again for her husband again. I think she's really a great woman. Okay, you notice the fact that they're all women here. <laughs> well, that's right, yes. I mean, when, when you were obviously sort of first getting into politics, did you look up to women like these and think, wow, you know, when I, when I sort of grow up, <laughs> I, I, want to be, I want to be a woman of power like, like these people? No. No, not really. No, because I, I also never thought of entering into politics when I was young. Oh, right. I wanted to be a journalist. Oh, oh, interesting. Cool. A, a broadcaster. Well, a radio well. DJ, maybe? <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> you know what, we're going to get into that in a moment, but before we do, we're just going to finish off with one last SMS. Um, we've got actually one SMS coming in from somebody who said that they'd like to know quickly, um, what, what are some of the major things that you've done actually for Sapute, and what are some of your big plans for Kinrara? Well, for um, people who ask this question, sometimes they thought that a member of parliament is like a mayor. And uh, they did not know that a lot of times uh, the uh, the plans, uh, development plans in our constituency is not in our hands and we were not invited to participate in decision making. So, but anyway, I think uh, the reason people voted us in uh, as an opposition M, uh, you know, in, um, uh, MP, they want us to speak up for them in the parliament. And I think that I have done my part on, on, on this. And uh, for so far, I have done like uh, help people on squatters eviction, help them to get the best compensation, get houses, and help them in uh, relocation of temple and roads issue. And uh, and for Kinrara, I plan. I hope that in the next uh, few years, I will be able to resolve uh, the some flooding problems. Okay. And also to get missing links, we link up. Right. Great. Yeah. That's right. Now you know, getting back to um to the role of women and things, of course. Um, you know, we are just looking through, and, and although, yes, you're right, there are a large number of women, you know, in sort of both camps, there seem to be more women in prominent roles in BN compared to the Pakatan Rakyat. Do you think this is maybe the, uh, is the Pakatan Rakyat less uh, women-friendly in its upper echelons, perhaps? 
Well, not really. You look at Selangor, the Pakatan Raya government. Um, we have uh, four women escorts. That oh. is a record breaking. Oh, really? Yeah, and then we have a deputy a woman speaker. And the same thing in Para. We have uh, also a deputy woman speaker. So I, I don't think uh, you know, we are less women friendly. And uh, it's just because that, you know, in the parliament, we are still in the opposition. Okay. So that, you know, uh, we, 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 did not have that, we don't have a position for women MPs to hold. Right. So maybe that's the wrong. Hey, I have a question here that is sort of in line with my next one. How do you feel about working with PAS despite their certain ideologies? And uh, how can you make sort of PAS in line with uh, your interim, your, your vision? Well, um, now I'm working with PAS in the Pakatan Rakyat government in Selangor. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, we don't have that many, you know, clashes uh, in right. terms of uh, policies and all that, and we can get together quite well. I should say that PAS is an interesting party. They have, uh, you know, um, all sorts of people with the, the leaders with different views and ideologies. Some are more conservative. They are the ulama. Some uh, are the, the professionals, and uh, and you also have seen now we have seen two women from PAS uh, in the parliament. So, you, if you talk to them, you'll find that they are actually quite open-minded in uh, many issues. They are, they are quite in line with many uh, things that we are fighting for. And uh, for me, I think that um, if you look at uh, Barisan National, there are 14 political parties. They also have different ideologies and uh, thinking. Sometimes they do fight in open too <laughs> among mm -hmm. the leaders. Yeah. But they are still together in one coalition under Barisan National. So you can see that in Selangor, in Para, and in Penang, well, we, we can still work together. That's mm. nice. Okay. Now, you know what? Um, in the elections recently, we mentioned this earlier, but you're coming some of your opponents, they campaigned against you using some particularly sexist tactics, including billboards and things yeah. like this. Um, we saw these in the papers. We were fairly shocked, actually, when we <laughs> saw this stuff. Um, it was really I, below the belt. I think <laughs> most decent people were. What, what were your thoughts on this, and, and what did you do to sort of react to it? I think um, the people that come up with the idea of the uh, sexist uh, billboard, uh, they are men. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. you never know. <laughs> There's some really catty women out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and unfortunately, you know, they are doing they they, they did it for a woman candidate, and uh, this girl, Carol uh, Chu, uh, she, I should say that she's a nice girl, but uh, I think she's young and green, and she was put in the constituency. She uh, like a helicopter, you know, go, go into a, a place without knowing the situation. And I think she was just caught in the situation. She was uh, being misled. So, um, and this show also that, you know, gender sensitivity or awareness of uh, equality or women's rights. Um, it, it, it's a kind of uh, process, you know. Mm -hmm. Not, it, does, it doesn't mean that all women uh, understand what is gender sensitivity. doesn't mean that all women will have the uh, uh, what they call it, awareness on women women's rights. So this shows very clearly in this uh, billboard story in the election okay. campaign. Yeah. Mm. If in the future you have, uh, or when you have kids, would you want them to go into the life of politics? Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> you, would, it's you, fun. <laughs> it, 